Hey kids, this, this is Mr. Cozy again, and I want to uh, give you a quick um, expansion on video 31. That's one thing in, uh, about video 31, completing the square, is that all of the problems I gave you, uh, the leading coefficient was 1. So I want you to see a problem where that's not the case. So let's look at um, 2x squared plus 3x minus 16 equals 0. Okay? Um, we need two things before we can complete the square. We need to get rid of this term, term here. Let's add it to the other side. So we, we, we have 2x squared plus 3x. I'm going to leave some space equals 16. And then um, the other thing is we can't have anything with the leading x term, with, with, with the leading quadratic term. Um, that This has to be a 1x squared, not a 2x squared. So what we do, and this is going to seem weird, but we're, we're just going to go and, and divide it out. I need this to be a 1x squared, so I'm going to divide everything on each side with with two and get rid of that that uh, so that this is one x squared now the the consequence is my middle term is a fraction that's not a, a, de a deal breaker in fact it's, it's not that bad at at all you just have to be a little more careful when you complete the square and on this side I have eight okay um, so we're we're sitting here. We have one uh, x squared. Um, there's there's nothing. There's not a, a constant term on the left side. Everything's on the right side. I'm now ready to complete the square. And when you come complete the square, you take this this coefficient, you cut it in half, and you square it. And that's what you add to each side. To cut a fraction in half, you you double the denominator. Okay, if 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 I want to take half of three halves, that's the same as multiplying three halves with one half. And what happens is that the de the denominator doubles. Now you can work this out on your own every time, or you can just remember that half of a fraction, you double the denominator. So half of 3 halves is 3 fourths. I need to remember the, the 3 fourths because this is going to show up in my factor. Um, but we'll get to that. I take this fraction in the middle. I cut it in half. That's 3 fourths. I square it. That's 9 sixteenths. And that's what I add to each side, 9 sixteenths, got this weird kind of thing going on here, and 9 sixteenths. Okay. Um, now, uh, I'm going to have to, to, to do some common denominator action to get uh, to add up these two values here. Um, I'm going to have to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by 16. Um, 8 times 16 is, I believe, 128. So this is 128 over 16 plus 9 sixteenths. This right side is going to be 137 over 16. Okay? Now, my left side, re remember that the, the whole point of completing the square is that this is a perfect square trinomial. It factors real sweet. It factors as x plus a number squared. And that number happens to be half of my middle term, half of my x term, which is 3 fourths. Now, 
Um, I'm I'm ready to wrap up this this problem like any complete the square problem. Take a square root of each side. This is going to give me x plus 3 fourths on the left side. On the right side, I am going to have a plus or minus. I'm going to uh, strategically put that in the, in the numerator. And my denominator, the square, the square root of 16, is conveniently 4. Um, I don't think the square root, root, root of 137 breaks down at all. If um, I'm wrong, uh, let me know. Uh, but now I just subtract 3 fourths to the other side. Um, and these two fractions conveniently have the same denominator, so I can just add up their numerators. Negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 137 over 4. And uh, that's th those are my two answers. Okay, so back up here. When you complete the square, if your leading coefficient isn't 1, you need to divide it out. If you get lucky, you're not going to get fractions. If you do, it's not... It's, it's totally workable. It's not that bad. You just have to keep your head. Um, half of the, of, uh, half a, of a fraction is always double the denominator, the denominator. And that half is what's go, go, going to show up in your factor. Okay. Uh, that's all I have for this recap. Um, hopefully this was, was helpful and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.